Remote ID. What do I think of remote ID? Well, to be honest with you, I could give a rat's behind about remote ID. And that should tell you all you need to know right there. Now, really, it's not that I don't want to comply. I don't really mind. Don't really care about the privacy issues so much. I know a lot of people do. Uh, from what I've read, the, the app that you can download for your phone, most people don't even know about it. Knows out of the public. And the apparently the um, Wi-Fi connection, or is it Bluetooth? I'm not even sure. Is very short range, so the person would have to be within oh I don't know 50 feet or 100 feet or so of you to even see that there's a drone flying. So I I really never have had too many issues with people bothering me when I'm flying a drone. I know that's not true of everybody. I just live in a part of the country where drones are fairly well accepted. I live in a town that's very drone friendly. Even some of the police officers here have drones and I've had police officers pull up and talk to me as I'm flying the drone over my house. The mayor, who's a friend of mine, also is a drone flyer. I've flown with him a number of times. Uh, but, but enough about that. I, dig I digress. Uh, one of the problems I have with remote ID is I have a lot of drones and most of these are the older drones. They, and, and these are drones here. This is a Mavic 2 Pro. I just finished a restoration on. You might have seen those videos with the cleaning out of the sand and the cleaning out of the sand of the gimbal. Uh, if you're not familiar with my channel, I do a lot of restoration of drones. I buy them when I can. Try to get them as cheap as possible. Broken. And I like to do the restoration videos. I like to have challenge. And I like to do the videos of the restoration. In most cases, I'm successful in restoring these drones to uh, flight status. Uh, this is a uh, this is a Mavic 2 Zoom, which had a complete rebuild. The shell was broken on it. Now, I do fly these drones from time to time. I have the Phantom 4 Pro, which in my opinion, with its uh, mechanical um, shutter, this is really the only reasonably priced drone you can get to do uh, the, the mapping the photogrammetry. You can do mapping with drones uh, with the uh, rolling, not the rolling shutter, but with the uh, electronic shutter, but you have to take a lot longer. It's got to be a lot slower. And if you have a 300 acre site that wants a map, you have to go through so many batteries and so much time. It really isn't worth it. With a mechanical shutter such as you get with the Fanta 4 Pro, it it makes it a lot quicker and results are also a lot better. The only other consumer drone in DJI's line that I know of, and it's not really a consumer drone, uh, it's the Mavic 3 Enterprise. That has a mechanical shutter and that can be used good for photogrammetry. Uh, but this, you can still get these Fanta 4 Pros, but guess what? Not remote ID compliant. Mavic 2 Pro, not remote ID compliant. Mavic 2 Zoom, not remote ID compliant. Even the old Mavic Pro, not remote ID compliant. These may be coming in December, but guess what? The date for compliance is September 16th, and that's coming up. Uh, we're not going to be able to comply. From what I've read, there are no modules. You can't get them. They're, they're in such short supply. And they're like $200. So does that mean I'm going to stop flying all these drones? No. I'm going to continue flying as I normally do. Uh, I do once in a while, do, do a little bit of work with this. I'm not going to stop using it. I, I can't. The FAA has to make it reasonable for us to comply. And right now they are not. Now, another issue I have is I have a little Mini 2 here that I've flown for the, on the channel. This technically, if you were a uh, non-FAA, or I'm sorry, if you were a non-Part 107 flyer, you could fly this and not have to worry about remote ID. But guess what? I'm Part 107 certified. That means I have to register with this drone, and I have to have a uh, remote ID module. But most of the remote ID modules I've seen are roughly about that big. So am I supposed to fly this drone? with a giant module like that on the top? No, it's not gonna work, it's not gonna happen. So am I gonna continue to fly that drone? Yes, I'm gonna continue to fly that drone. 
what can I say? It's not that I don't want to comply. I don't, you know, really be honest with you. I'm not caring either way. I'll comply if they make it reasonable for me to comply. Not a problem. But right now they're not. Uh, so hopefully we'll see. Uh, there's some talk about it being postponed. That probably would be wise, at least to give manufacturers like DJI time to update their drones with firmware. That would be the Mavic Pro, the Mavic 2 Pros, maybe the Phantom 4. I don't know what this is. This is not the, the, the version 2.0, but I'm assuming if they're going to update the version 2.0, they can do this one also. It's just a firmware update, as far as I know. Uh, hopefully that will all happen in December, so if the FAA does postpone until, say, March is for what I've been hearing, uh, that would be much better. It would give these chance for, give us a, a chance to comply, have all these drones updated. Still don't know what I'm going to do with this one. I'm still going to fly this one. I can't see putting a remote ID module on this. And DJI has not said whether this will be remote ID capable. Right now it's not, and there's no word as to whether it will. They're not so concerned about this one because most recreational flyers don't need it. I do because I'm part 107, so we need it. There's probably quite a few part 107 people out there who want to fly this drone in their videos. So something will have to be done about this. I'm assuming DJI eventually will update it. Um, I have the um, Mini 3 Pro. Again, these were all repairs and rebuilds, and they're all flying. They're all in good shape. This one I've actually enabled the road ID on and registered as such on the website, the FAA website. This one, this is the only, only, only other drone I have that's remote ID capable and it's been enabled and registers as such on the website. So these two, you know, we're good to go. Most of my drones, as you see, are not. And I also have, also forgetting about this one down here, this is the big guy. Now, remote ID? No, no, this is the original Spire 1. This probably will not get a remote ID update. It probably could, but uh, I doubt it. This is not even run on the, this is run for the old Go app, the DJI Go app. It's not even run on the Go Go 4 app, I believe it's called, what you, what you run the Phantom 4 Pro on. So this one would have to have a, a module. Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem putting a module on that big thing. So am I going to stop flying it, though? No, I'm going to continue to fly it. Um, like I said, if the FAA makes it possible for us to comply, then great. I'm not going to fry, fly in some Freya. I'll tell you what, though, when you talk about Freyas, something that no, not too many people have talked about. We have one in, near me in Valley Forge Park. I, th I believe it's a model uh, airplane club, Signal Seekers, I believe it's called. They don't like drones. Uh, I've asked them a couple of times if I could fly my drone there. And I've met with, with a lot of resistance. They said, oh, you have to buy or register something. And then when I inquire about it, they said, no, you can't do that. Uh, they don't like drones. So as far as free as go, it's the only one I know of in my area. And they don't want you flying there. So what am I to do? Uh, so that's it. That's, folk. that's it, folks. That's all I'm going to say about remote ID. I'm going to go out and fly this little guy. Maybe later on today, it's like 95 degrees out. Uh, but I have a, a, an interesting video, perhaps, I'm going to do uh, with this drone. This will be later on today. We'll see if we want to do it today or maybe wait till it cools off a little bit. Folks, take care out there. And uh, let's, let's hope that this uh, remote ID gets postponed. So at least it gives us all a chance to comply. Maybe there will be some modules that you can purchase by the spring. I don't know. I'm, from what I understand, they're way behind on these modules. There is some estimate that 350 to 400,000 people would need these modules. And the companies have nowhere near the production capability to produce these modules as of today. Uh, so hope in the spring, will it be different? I hope so. Will prices be less than 200, much less than $200? Look at all the drones I have that, that may or may not get remote ID capabilities. If DJI does not do that with these drones, do I have to buy a module for each of these drones? At, Say $200 if the price remains the same. I don't think I'm going to do that. All right, folks, that's enough for me today. Take care, be safe, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.